Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com with the Daily Devotional, Tuesday, July 30th, 2013. Today's scripture, Jonah chapter 3. Read it. The Pope, Bishop Desmond Tutu, Glenn Beck, MSNBC, and the parents of Trayvon Martin. What more do you, what more evidence do you need that this nation and world has abandoned God and lost and is lost without hope? During his recent trip to Brazil, Pope Francis stated that he would not judge or marginalize gay people within the Roman Catholic Church. He went on to say, who am I to judge gay people? Are you kidding me? Here's the look. Here's the head of a denomination of 1.2 billion people worldwide, someone people look to for spiritual leadership, and to not simply tell people what God says on this issue is inexcusable. Hey, Pope, it's not you who's judging this behavior. God already did. To help educate the Pope, there's no such thing as gay people, just like there's no such thing as drunk people. Taking your clothes off to engage in a perverted form of sex is a choice, just like picking up a glass of alcohol and drinking it is a choice. This is the same Pope Francis that just a month ago said that atheists can go to heaven. Did this guy sleep through Theology 101? As I saw the news reports of the mass on the beach in Brazil with 3 million plus souls there, I could only pray for such an opportunity since I would not waste as the Pope did. I would have given the greatest invitation for people to accept Christ as their Savior by, by faith in my life. This video was from a papal visit in New York City a few years ago. And what I would have said if given the opportunity is Pope for a day. Video. Go to LivePrayer.com. Uh, no, you know what? Go to YouTube. Uh, uh, search for Bill Keller Pope video. It'll come up. Also, South African Anglican, Anglican Bishop Desmond Tutu said he would prefer hell over a homophobic heaven. Another supposed spiritual leader who obviously has never read the Bible since speaking against the sin of homosexuality is not being a homophobe, but simply stating what God's word says all throughout the New and Old Testament. For the record, I don't care what your title is. If you've rejected in faith by Christ, by faith, and thus his word is truth, when you die, your soul will burn in the same hell as anyone else who's rejected the truth. On his money program, Satanic cult member Glenn Beck had the audacity to speak out against the blasphemous book of, on Jesus written by a Muslim that I shared with you in the Monday devotional. I found his rant about the book to be absolutely disgusting since here's a man who's part of a cult that believes Jesus is not a deity, but a created being. The brother of Lucifer, who came to the United States during his life and will not return to the Mount of Olives, as the Bible states, but Independence, Missouri. If you want proof of Beck's Mormon status, send him an email. I'll ask him to take off his shirt. Beneath you will find him wearing the satanic markings, markings on his magic underwear. He and other Mormon men in his cult wear 24-7 because they believe it protects them. Beck also took great umbrage on his program, whining like a little girl, to the negative articles about his faux museum during his Beck believes he will be the god of the moon scam over the 4th of July at the home of his cult in Salt Lake City, Utah. In addition to his historical artifacts on display, Beck also had an abundance of memorabilia from his beloved Mormon cult. Who were the tour guides for this faux museum? He made people pay to visit. Students from Liberty University. For the record, I received my theological education from Liberty. will always thank God for that school. Ever since the death of Dr. Jerry Fowa, his sons have not just invited Beck, but his Satan-worshipping cult brother Romney to speak at their graduation. They have compromised the truth of God's word over and over for whatever financial gain they've gained. They've garnered from selling out the gospel to members of the satanic cult. Also, why anyone listens to Beck is beyond me. His shtick to draw people in his conservative politics. There's a hundred people out there say the same thing. On top of this, over the weekend you had an NBC, MSNBC host making the case it was okay to kill babies out of the womb. Even ten years ago, Melissa Harris Perry would have never been allowed to get behind get behind a microphone in a small town radio station with five cows as listeners. As listeners, she's now on a major network. Lastly, the mother of Trayvon Martin making tons of money off her dead child is a legal expert. She's out there being used by the race baiters to attack laws that had nothing to do with the night her child chose to assault the wrong man who just happened to have a gun. Listen, I love and care about you so much. Recently talked about Satan distracting people while that happens daily. We see events daily at crowd for what I've been sharing with you for years. Our nation is in spiritual freefall. Stand with my Stand with me now, my friend. We will bring the remnant together as one. We have a voice. We will have a larger voice each month as we take our stand. It is the only hope for this nation. Each time God's judgment was visited upon the children of Israel for rebelling against them. We do not have to follow their path, but we can follow the path 
the children of Nineveh did. If we listen to the message, hear to the warnings, and repent, our time is now. In his love and service, your friend and brother in Christ, Bill Keller. If I can help you, email me, bkellerlivepair.com.